Hi, clay friends. How would you like to make an elephant with me today? If you wanna join me for an elephant, grab some clay, grab a cup of water, and grab a kitchen skewer or a pencil with a sharp tip. One thing to check on when you're taking your clay out of the bag, you we wanna make sure it's at a good, um, it's still damp enough. If it's getting dry and starting to crack or be crumbly, then you need to add a little bit of water back to it. So the way that I test that is I take a, just take a piece out of the bag and I roll out a quick coil and I bend it. When I roll it, if it's really gooey and sticking to the table, it shouldn't stick to the table. So if it's sticking to the table, that means that it has too much water and you should let it just sit out and let the air dry it out a little bit. And when you roll the coil out, you should be able to bend it so it bends with no cracks. If when you bend it, you get cracks in there, that means it's getting a little too dry. So just sprinkle a little bit of water in, put it back in the bag and let it dry. And the projects are a lot easier when if you have the clay at the right uh, moisture level. So for our little elephant here, this guy is an African elephant because he has big old ears and he's got a couple of tusks on here. Did you guys know that baby elephants are born with tusks? Just um, like kids when they're young have baby teeth and they fall out. An elephant loses his tusks when he's about one and then he grows new bigger um, tusks a little bit later. So we'll start with the body um, shape. So take a ball of clay about the size, you just want about the size of the palm of your hands and pat it back and forth to make kind of an egg shape again. So we're starting with a bit of an egg shape and we'll set our egg aside and grab another hunk and uh, about half the size of the body, about half the clay of the body. And we're gonna roll this one out into that carrot shape again. So we've been rolling a couple, if you've done some other projects, we've um, rolled the clay and pushed harder at one end to make it thinner at one end. So we're pressing this harder at this end and what's happening is we're forming kind of a trunk. So we can press hard here and not press as hard here. And it leaves this top area. We wanna leave the top area to start to look like a head and their heads are kind of like a rounded triangle shape up here. And then they come straight down into the trunk. So you can kind of pull the trunk a little bit longer if you want. So we're not worried about getting it perfect yet. We just want roughly kind of a head shape with a trunk. And you can hold these two together and see if we bend that a little bit. Is that starting to look like an elephant already? It doesn't take a lot for it to start to take on the look of an elephant. So let's set these two aside for the moment and let's get some legs. So we're gonna roll out some big thick legs for this guy. The other thing I wanna to talk to you a little bit about, you'll notice that we're making these solid. So if you're making these at school where you're gonna be able to fire them in a kiln, you wouldn't make them solid, you'd make these hollow. And some of our other lessons will teach you how to make them hollow. The reason is when you fire them in a kiln, they would explode if they're hollow. They're, uh, it would trap moisture inside. So when it gets hot in a kiln, it would blow up. But for these projects, for April animals, we are just making animals, we're taking pictures. You can email them to me and we'll put them on our gallery online and then we can smash these back up like this was a dinosaur or a, not dinosaur, this was a dragon from the other day so you can just smash it back up and make another animal and take a picture and as long as you keep your clay wet in the plastic bag you can make lots and lots of animals and take lots of pictures and just keep using the same clay over and over again and we can build solid so we can learn about some um, techniques without worrying about making them hollow so for the legs we're just gonna have some big solid thick legs here and we're gonna roll out one long coil and cut it into pieces. And that way our legs will come out roughly the same size. So to get your coil started, sometimes it's a good idea to squeeze with this part of your hand. Just go squeeze, 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 turn, and then roll it out. That helps it get um, more rounded instead of oval shape. And if it goes oval shape, you can pick it up and squeeze it back into round again. And we'll just round that off a little bit. Then we're going to cut off some pieces here. So we want these about the same size. So we can move it. And get these guys all the same size. And we're going to take them one at a time. So these over here. And we're going to tap one end. Tap, 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 tap. And as we tap it, it spreads that bottom out to make a big fat elephant foot. And then if you want to, you can you can use your, your pinky finger and make some little marks that look like little elephant kind of toenail marks there. Or the other thing you can use if you can find something like this kind of a stick around the kitchen somewhere. Sometimes I find interesting things in my recycling. 
We'll do another leg here. Same thing, we're gonna tap, 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 tap. And make that wider at the bottom. And then you can, you can experiment with different texture tools and see which one you think makes the best elephant toenail marks there. So we'll do that to the rest of these here. What does an elephant and a tree have in common? Oh, they both have a trunk. Where did the elephant pack his luggage? In his trunk. And if you're as tired of my jokes as I am, when you send me pictures of your work for a gallery, you can send me some new jokes too. Maybe we'll use those in our other videos. All right, here's our third leg. Just kind of setting our legs off to the side here. What's the biggest kind of ant? An elephant. All right, I'll stop with the jokes now. Last leg here. We've got our last leg. Gonna put toenails on our last leg. Toenail, toenail, toenail. Okay, so setting these off to the side. So I'm back to my body, which is this kind of egg shape. And it's easier to put our legs on if we start kind of upside down. So take one leg. And we're gonna blend that on there. So I'm gonna drag some clay from the leg onto the body and you can use your finger to kind of drag it or you can use one of your sticks. But you wanna blend it until you don't see two separate lines there. You want it to look like it's all one piece of clay. Get our other leg on here. Dragging some more, dragging that clay up the leg onto the body. Do the same thing on this side. I'm standing him up just for a minute to make sure that I have the legs lined up so they don't come out too wonky. All right, and then we'll use our stick, this little kitchen skewer, and we can drag some of the clay from that leg onto the body in here and the places that are harder to reach with your fingers. And then we'll take our front legs here and oops, try not to drop them and smash them too much. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna drag some of the clay from the elephant's leg up onto the body. And we'll use this little stick back here. I can get this closer. So we'll use a stick back here to get into these places that are harder to reach. So again, we're just dragging some clay from that leg into the body. And then we'll take our last leg here and we're gonna drag some clay from that leg up onto the body. And you can put as much detail on these as you want to. Some people like to go in and make lots of wrinkle marks. That's one thing about elephants is they have such wrinkly skin. It can be really fun to go in if you're a detail kind of person. Some people like just to keep it really loose and see how you can make it look like an elephant with not a whole bunch of detail. And it really doesn't take a lot of detail to make it look like an elephant. See, this guy's starting to look like an elephant already. So now we can take our heads and you wanna take a, just a little coil. So I'm gonna grab a little piece of clay again and roll this out into a coil. And we're gonna wrap the coil around the head where it attaches to the body and it'll form a little bit of a neck here. So we're gonna wrap this around and the same way that we've been dragging the clay from one part, I'll turn this sideways so you can see, we've been dragging the clay from one part to the other. We're gonna drag some of the clay from the coil onto the body, and then we're gonna drag some up onto the head until you can't see, we don't wanna be able to see the coil. We want it to look just like it's a neck and it's all one piece of clay. So you wanna work your way all the way around all the different sides of this neck here. Then we can move on to what I think is the most fun part of these guys, and that's the eyes and the ears. He kind of looks like an elephant already just because we have the trunk, but he really looks like an elephant once we get some ears going on there. All right, so we have a nice strong neck on our elephant now. 
So their eyes are only about halfway up their head. So let's kind of mark where we think they're gonna go before we put them on. And they're pretty far apart. So you can take your elephant and give it a look and decide, is that where you really want your eyes? And you can move them around if you're not happy with where they're at. When you decide they are where you want them, you're gonna take two tiny pieces of clay and we're gonna roll that into little tiny balls for eyeballs. All right, so we're gonna take tiny little balls and we're gonna press them in here. And then we can use one end of the stick to give them some kind of like pupils here, little elephant pupils. And then we're gonna take a slightly bigger ball and roll that out, squish that flat, and we're gonna cut it in half with our sharp little stick here. And the two halves are gonna be his eyelids. So we'll put the eyelids right up there. So the lower you put the eyelids, the sleepier you look. So you can kind of, if you want him kind of a sleepy, lazy elephant, just kind of moving along. You can move his eyelids down a little bit more, but play around with it, experiment and see how you want your elephant to look. Your elephant, he can look any way you want him to look there. All right, so we've got some eyes, our sleepy little eyes, our trunk. Now take another chunk of clay here and we're gonna, we're gonna pinch out some pretty big ears because we're making an African elephant and they do have big ears. So if you start with kind of a ball shape and then just start to pinch it out, their ears go out and then angle down. So you start to think as we pinch, it's gonna attach to that here and it's gonna go out and then down. So just pinch that out into whatever shape you want that to be. You can look at pictures of African elephants or other kinds of elephants. So something kind of like that. Then I'll lay that one down and I'm gonna roll out the second piece of clay, which was the same amount of clay. And we're gonna to start to stretch that into the same shape only opposite, so it's gonna go on the opposite side. So it's gonna go up, and then come down. All right, sometimes I lay them on top of each other to make sure they're about the same size. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing that we've been doing. We're gonna drag some of the clay from the ear onto the rest of the elephant. So we're gonna line it up right here. And from the back side, you can put your finger in and drag some of the clay from the ear onto the elephant. And on the front side, it might be hard to get in there. You might need to use the end of your skewer here, or like the end of a pencil maybe. Sometimes a pencil eraser works. All right, so I've got one ear on here. Do the same thing on this side. We're gonna attach this. We're gonna drag. This one I'm gonna put a little extra coil on behind. Just because this ear got a little bit thinner somehow. We'll do the same thing with our skewer here. Use the skewer to drag some of the clay from the ear onto the body and back and forth. And then we're gonna go on the inside with the skewer and we're dragging some clay from the ear onto the head. All right, what do you think? Is he starting to look a little bit like an elephant? You can shape these ears out any way you want them. And if, if you like detail, one fun thing to do is because elephants are so wrinkly, you can draw some of the wrinkles in right through here, start to Draw some little wrinkles. You can give him some little wrinkles on his forehead. 
And then if you want to, you can add tusks. The way that we've been rolling carrots, just take a little piece of clay and roll a coil, but tip your hand sideways so you're putting more pressure on one hand and you'll get a point. So I'm now I've, I turned my coil around, so I'm making little points on both ends. And then this way you can just cut this in half. And you've got two little tusks here. So if you want to, you can work your tusks in and curl those up a little bit. Oops, dropped my tusk. And then the last thing you can add for detail on your elephants, they do have tails, not real big tails, but they have tails. So if you want to, you can take, roll out one last thin coil and give them a tail right here on the back side. So we've got our tail in the back and our two little elephant friends here. And another detail, if you want to, you can kind of split their, their trunks split open and they actually kind of have two, two holes. So you can punch in one hole, two holes, and make it look like it's split a little bit for a little bit of extra detail if you really like making detail. And that's it, you made an elephant, congratulations. And if you've got time, take a picture, send it to me, and then you can look at it on the gallery. Thanks for hanging out and making elephants with me. I hope you had fun.